The purpose of this video is to show you how to do a many-to-one relationship in Microsoft Visio. So I'm going to start. I'm in Visio 2010, and I'm going to uh, start <coughs> with a database model diagram. Open that up. When that opens up, I'm going to model a relationship that shows how to create a relationship between a customer and an order. If we look at this case, we'll see that each customer can, pl can place many orders, but each order is associated with only other one customer. Otherwise, you'll get chaos. I'm going to make this bigger so that you can see it easily. And I've got two tables. The first one I'm going to put over here is the orders table, and it's going to be called orders. And I've got another table here, which I'm going to call customers. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the columns here and I'm going to go order ID and primary key is be order and it's going to have an order date in it. This is normally given in the question that you need to have this. This is called a non-key column. This is its primary key. Every single table must have a primary key to uniquely identify it. That's called entity integrity. Customers table <coughs> will also um, have, let me click on the customers table, it will also have columns. It'll have a primary key creatively called customer ID. And it will have some columns that are called non-key columns as well, such as last name and first name. And we could have other information like their address and you name it. Let's keep it simple. So here we have our two tables. We want to join these now in a many-to-one relationship. And the way we do that is we pick up this relationship line and we drop it on the page there's a rule that you need to remember and that is that the arrow goes on the one side of the relationship now in this case we said that each order is associated with only one customer so that means you have to put the arrow on the customers table and you put it right on the, the, the primary key until that customers table lights up red as soon as it right lights up red then you let go of the of the arrow with your mouse and not before and there you go and then you take the non arrow in, this is the many side of the relationship, and you drag that on top of the primary key in the orders table. And that's order ID until the orders table lights up red. And when I let go, look what happens in the orders table. It automatically created a foreign key called customer ID that points to the customers table. Now, this right now is just used as simple relationship line. Uh, sometimes you can convert this or need it in crow's foot notation. So I'm going to convert this relationship line into crow's foot notation by going database. I'm going to go to display options. I'm going to go to relationships. Then I'm going to go to crow's feet and click on OK. And there you see each order is associated with one customer. That's what this hash mark right here means. And each customer is associated with many different uh, orders. And that's enough for now. We could talk about these at some other point. These are called minimum cardinalities. And this is me shows the minimum that you that you need um, of each customer associated with each order. But that's for another lesson. So overall, this is how you do what would be called a many-to-one relationship, where each order is associated with one customer, and each customer is associated with many different orders.